Last year, Qualcomm announced a new 7 series chipsets to manage the gap between the mid range and flagship chipsets. The latest Snapdragon 730 and 730G seems to be bridging that gap very well, bringing the technologies that were previously exclusive to 8 series devices. So, in this video, we will see how far apart these chipsets really are. So, let's compare Snapdragon 730 with 845 with 855. With that, let's begin. Starting with CPU, the Snapdragon 730 is built on 8 nanometer process. Narrower the manufacturing process, the more power efficient it is. With its 8 nanometer process, newly launched Snapdragon 730 will be more power efficient. On the CPU front, it has Cryo 470 CPU, which means 2 Cortex A76 cores, clocked at 2.2 GHz, and 6 Cortex A55 cores, clocked at 1.8 GHz. In the case of last year's Snapdragon 845 SoC, the chipset featured a Cryo 385 octa-core CPU where 4 Cortex A75 based cores were clocked at 2.8 GHz and 4 Cortex A55 based cores were clocked at 1.7 GHz. This processor is built over 10 nanometer process. With Snapdragon 855, Qualcomm shifted to a tri-cluster configuration. There are still 4 Cryo high-powered cores, but the configuration is 1 plus 3 and 4 Cryo efficiency cores clocked at 1.8 GHz and they are all arranged in 3 clusters. The top performing Cryo 485 that is the prime core is clocked at 2.84 GHz and has a wider 512 KB L2 cache compared to 256 KB on other gold cores. And this should enhance performance under load like web browsing where there is one large thread to be executed. This is build over 7 nanometer process. In the GPU segment, Snapdragon 730 has all new Adreno 618 GPU. Snapdragon 730 is also the first chipset in 7 series to get Vulkan 1.1 APS support and has some features like true SDR gaming, jank reducer, anti-cheating extensions, Wi-Fi latency manager that optimizes network settings for better online gaming. Coming to Snapdragon 845, it has a top line Adreno 630 GPU of last year. Qualcomm claims Adreno 630 GPU featuring room scale 6 degree of freedom with slam, Adreno foveation and significantly improved graphics rendering and video processing compared to the previous generation that is Snapdragon 835. The Snapdragon 855 has Adreno 640 GPU which is 20% faster than Adreno 630 and supports true HDR gaming and games built around physically based rendering. Unlike Snapdragon 845, the new Snapdragon 855 also supports HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision formats. There is also support for 120fps gaming and 8K 360-degree videos. To conclude, the GPU of Snapdragon 730 that is Adreno 618 is still in the dark. We don't know basically anything about this new Adreno 618 GPU. It will be far away from the flagship chipsets. Moving on to AI. Qualcomm is hoaxing a lot about the AI performance of Snapdragon 730. It has Qualcomm's 4th generation AI accelerators for better AI performance. It also has Scalar and Hexagon Vector extensions as well as newly added Hexagon Tensor Accelerator. The Hexagon 688 DSP is an upgrade over Hexagon 685 in its predecessors. With all these AI improvements, Snapdragon 730 is going to be an AI powerhouse. Qualcomm comes with the company's own branded AI, Qualcomm Hexagon 685 DSP. It has a third generation vector extension and all wave aware sensor hub. It has Qualcomm's neural processing SDK along with many popular framework support. The Hexagon 690 DSP found in Snapdragon 855 also comes with a tensor accelerator. Qualcomm is also using AI for active noise cancellation. It is powered by the 4th generation AI engine and a lot more features are also available. Coming to camera, the Snapdragon 730 has the 350 ISP and that is tuned with AI for scene recognition, HDR. The ISP also has support for optical zoom and triple camera setup featuring telephoto, wide angle and ultra wide angle lens. Certainly the smartphone industry is adopting 48 megapixel cameras. That's why Qualcomm has announced support for taking 48 megapixel snapshot in Snapdragon 730. 
the Snapdragon 845 mobile platform is backed by Qualcomm Spectra 280 ISP that supports up to 32 megapixel single camera and 16 megapixel dual cameras, similar to Spectra ISP 250 on the Snapdragon 710. The new Spectra 380 ISP in Snapdragon 855 has been designed to be more power efficient with image processing. Qualcomm claims that 4K HDR capture will use 30% less power consumption compared to Snapdragon 845. Snapdragon 855 supports up to 148 MP sensor, supports up to 222 MP sensors. All the chipsets offer more camera features than stated. But it's hard to include all of this in this video and would consume a lot of time of yours. And to finish it up, we have the average Antutu scores for all the chipsets. Antutu tests the CPU, GPU and memory performance while including both abstract tests and as of late relatable user experience simulation. So you can check out on the screen how these compare. The Snapdragon 730 borrows a few key elements from the top-end Snapdragon 855 processor. These features include a tensor accelerator and improved machine learning. The computer vision ISP Wi-Fi 6 and support for 192 megapixel snapshot. And Snapdragon 730 is closer in a way making it a true upper mid-range processor. If you like the video then please hit that like button. And for more such videos subscribe to my channel. Peace out.